Hey YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? I hope yeah, days are going good and your lives are going even better. Other than that, so we are gonna be jumping into Chainsaw Man episode number two, so. Denji obviously became Chainsaw Man, he destroyed the Yakuza and the, the zombie demon and all of that stuff and got rescued by Makima, by the boss lady if you want to call her that. And at first she seems sweet until then you realise she kind of wants to make Denji her dog but she's using different ways to try to get him to do it because she knows how attracted he is to her. Because one of his dreams was obviously to be hugged by a lady, which he achieved, and then a bunch of other things to have a good life, to be able to do normal things, to have jam on bread, and like, you know, the basic stuff that he gets to do in the second episode. So, for him, his dream is already true, like he's already achieved everything that he wants, so he has to find himself a new dream, a second dream of sorts, and it's honestly turning into like an episode of High School Dennis Day at this point, just from how um, sexualized this all gets. So I'm like, okay, that's interesting. So, um, she feeds him. Um, we learn a little bit about Chainsaw Man about that he loses a lot of blood whenever he transforms, and that he needs to have, probably have a lot of calories, a lot of food in order to heal himself and kind of get his strength back a little bit. But I'm assuming it's just it's just because he barely ate be before it. Like we know, he was basically an orphan. Like his dad committed suicide, and so on, so on, so on, so. Makima takes him into the big city and into a devil hunting agency. She's like the boss lady of like that one corporate bit, I would assume. And she teams him up with Hay with Hayakawa, who is a little bit of a douche um, at first. And he kind of like picks on Denji a little bit, telling him that the only reason why you're there is so that you can try and date Makima, as obviously Denji falls in love with her basically instantly. Because why not? And... He doesn't like that. I think they're both just kind of attracted and it's one of those things where they're just going to be yeah, like butting heads with each other. Haikawa is the leader of like a, a unit underneath um, m underneath Makima and it works out that they really do butt heads. Um, Haikawa tries to make Denji leave by doing a very like just by attacking him basically and not realising that the only thing Denji's ever really had is people attacking him and abusing him and it's not really going to make any massive difference about anything. And then the greatest thing ever happened. It was like, when I fight, but when I fight guys, when I fight boys, I only aim for the nuts, man. Like, and that literally, he just literally kicks him in the balls over and over and over again. Every chance that he could get. I just absolutely destroy his Hayakawa in that way. Just like, if you're going to fight me, at least fight me properly. If you're going to fight me cleanly, you're not really going to get very far with all of this. And... It makes sense, it shows everything coming towards it all. And it shows the kind of person Denji is as well, where he doesn't give any Fs. He's just like, you know what, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And my goals are my own. Like, I've already achieved this, I can take baths, I can eat things, I'm happy. And I and he knows that him and the devil, like, has merged. It's not that, the, it's not that he died, it's that they're merged together. He's both human and devil at the same time. So it makes him happy, he knows that. In a way, like, he's being watched over by the devil on the side of him. And it gives him, like, a lot of relief, a lot of solace. And then, towards the end, like, after Hayakawa sees his power against the fiend. The fiend is basically like a half-human, half-devil, but not like Denji. Denji is special, in a sense. And it changes. The heads change to be different shapes and stuff, is what I'm assuming. And I think it affects every human a little bit differently. And it depends on how much each human can control it at the same time, as we also meet another character called Power. At least that's what we know as right now. Her name might change in the coming episodes, but I don't know. Like, it's actually like a very good anime. It's actually quite funny. In a, in a lot of places, it started off extremely sad, and now it's getting a lot more lighthearted. It's, it's throwing a lot of its wait forward from what i've heard it's sticking very close towards the manga which is interesting and i enjoy like it's slow paced for the most part but it's not badly slow slow paced a lot of slow paced stuff can be very tedious um to watch or to listen to or to whatever and this actually works very well it has a lot of like there was not really much violence in this episode. There was like a head being cut off and that's about it. Which is, which is quite surprising for an anime that's been kind of labelled as gory and brutal as all hell. And 
of that type of thing, but it's actually working out really well. Like, I'm enjoying the story more than anything else. Like, I normally love anime for the gore and for everything else, but this is so much story-driven that I'm just embracing it and enjoying it and seeing, like, Denji finally starting to achieve his dreams and to go for his second dream, which is, of course, he now wants to be able to touch boobs. That's his next dream. And then eventually he wants to be able to get with a woman and do everything that you do. You know what I mean? And just simple achievable dreams that is going to try and then he gets put in with power who is a female fiend but not the fiend that like we just saw like one who, who can control her powers much easier but lets the devil take control she's so fast so powerful she absolutely obliterated a demon at the end with like one strike like as she wants to feast off blood and that type of stuff so very much closer to a demon than anything than what denji happens to be at this time this could change. His powers could take over him a little more, but they're basically stuck within this agency. Now, if they try to leave or whatever, they're going to be killed like demons, like devils, like whichever way you want to go about it. And interesting. I want to see where this goes. I want to see what happens to Denji. I want to see if he achieves his dreams. He most likely will. He'll most likely have an accident where he can touch boobs and that type of stuff for like comedy pur pur purposes. But I want to see what happens with him and Makima and how he grows within this organization. How. His attachments grow between people as more and more characters are slowly introduced and just to see the kind of dynamics between it all and then obviously go into the gore and see the main villain for this season and everything else. I'm assuming it's going to be a lot more manga than just 12 episodes. So I'm going to give this a bit of season one, season two, if this is really good. I do hope so because the story is very compelling in my opinion and I'm enjoying it quite a lot to be fair. And I'm trying my best to like give it as much attention as I can like obviously I'm not an anime youtuber of any kind I do music mostly but anime is in my blood man I've watched anime for a very long time now for longer than some people have been alive man so either way I hope you guys enjoyed man cannot wait for episode three it's gonna be sick I'll see you guys next week have a wonderful day evening or nights and I will catch you guys in the next one take care.